Hi, welcome to the Kinta, and today I'm planting potatoes. Choke on, petrol on. Why are you not starting? Right, have we got a spark? myself quickly. Damn. That's really sharp. Look at that. Flipping neck. Right on the knuckle as well where it's gonna take ages to heal. Damn. Right that spark plug looks like it could do with a clean doesn't it? Right. I have been out five minutes and I've already had to take the jersey off. What a beautiful day, it's really hot. Right, let's uh, see whether we can't get some of this muck off here. So I know that's not the conventional way to do it, but... <laughs> Who said we had to follow convention? Right, we have a, a reasonable gap there. Oh, this is frustrating, isn't it? What else is going on here? Let's put a little bit of gas into this. Why are you not working? I don't know. <sighs> the frustrations of trying to get these small machines to work. I'm going to take the uh, plug back out, have a look at it. This is the uh, air intake. I've got a fairly snotty and nasty filter. So that's the fuel is on. That's the choke on, off. I reckon that some of the uh, petrol in there is probably disgusting since it's been sitting there with uh, E10 I think it's called in it over the whole winter. So they put these environmentally friendly fuels in there and um, unfortunately because they are ethanol based they coagulate and they seize everything up and gum it up. So, before I go and plant my potatoes, which is the idea, it looks like I've got some mucking around to do. Right, I'm going to go and get on with what I can, and I'll come back to you when and if I get it started, because I'm starting to think I might be doing it by hand. So with any luck that should make it slightly easier to dig the trenches for the spuds. 
Right, all I've got to do is get it up to the top now. Right, well, somewhat successful, but really not. Hmm, I might come and just run the tractor over it again. Because uh, it's just not doing the job. What a pain after all of that. Oh well. Um, you sometimes see these things being used as sort of carriages. They put a little trailer on the back of them and uh, tow themselves down the road. A little bit dodgy. Rigmarole time. Got to get this on. Well, I'm not going to film that because I did it in the last episode, which is up there. So if you're interested in how that goes together, there you go. Right, so we got uh, one, two, three, four lovely trenches. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plant the potatoes manually into the trenches. I'm going to leave this piled up at the side so that as they come up, I can actually earth them up and that'll make them more productive with any luck. Right, I've just got the uh, next one to do up here and then on to planting. There is a knack to opening these things and sometimes I get it right and sometimes I definitely don't so let's see whether I can get this to come undone it's very satisfying there we go <laughs> I don't even know whether you saw that. So here is a variety of potatoes called Stemsta. They started to uh, sprout 
So I'm going to put these in round about 50 centimetre apart and uh, we'll see how they do. So yeah, I'm just going to really continue doing that. Well, oh, goodness me, that was quite warm. Ah, anyway, you can no doubt see behind me the beautiful pear blossom. So it looks like we're going to have a good year for pears again, which is wonderful stuff. I think I probably need to try my perry recipe again and update that a little bit. Uh, it actually ended up turning into very nice vinegar, but not such good perry. Right, well, all we have to do now is hope, fingers crossed, that it's going to rain uh, a little bit just to get all these going. The uh, moon has gone into its deadest phase, whatever it's called, um, and that means that over the next month it'll actually be working, just as it does on the tides, to pull the water slowly up towards where the roots want it. I'm going to close off the video here now just wishing you as always all the best do take care of yourself thanks very much indeed for all your comments and of course for liking and subscribing i'll see you next time i almost forgot to mention i have actually launched channel memberships and there is some extra content out there if you are interested in becoming a member um, if not i hope that you will continue to enjoy these videos and not see a huge amount of difference um, you might occasionally see the odd video coming up labeled as members only um, so sorry about that there's nothing i can do about it that's just youtube anyway all the best just so I remember what I planted. There we go.